ช่ใช่ Good evening I am Dr. Amit Datta Professor Head of the Department s a n d i n i k a t a n Medical College Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology I thank Team Senora Sun Pharmaceuticals to give me a chance to speak on preterm birth today as of today this month seems to be a month of preterm awareness and there is going to be a lot of activities that we are doing from the sun pharmaceutical to make people aware regarding preterm birth now what is preterm birth when the onset of labor prior to completion that is 37 weeks that is 259 days of pregnancy after attainment of the viability then we call it a preterm labor so before 37 weeks and after attainment of viability so the prevalence <coughs> in india is about 11.6 percent that is one in ten birth so that is a real headache nowadays because nowadays people are becoming busy father and mother both are working they don't have time and one child norm has already come in and if that is a preterm baby it is difficult to manage those babies the lower limit in different countries as per WHO was 22 weeks and 500 grams in United Kingdom it is 24 weeks and in India it is 28 weeks that is the lower limit of preterm labor now incidence as I told you it is about 11% some countries it varies from 5 to 30% what are the risk factors risk factors are genital tract infection and hepatum hemorrhage over distended uterus that is especially twin pregnancies or multiple pregnancies why multiple pregnancies are laying stress on because of late ART has come into vogue assisted reproductive techniques and because of that multiple ova are fertilized giving rise to triplet quadruplet twins and that is one of the reason of preterm baby you train anomalies of course you train anomalies like uniconvert uterus biconvert uterus are one of the cause of preterm labor incompetent cervix or any other operations that has been done on cervix like a trachelography is also one of the cause acute fever maternal illness Low socioeconomic status, smoking, UTI are also the prevalent causes for preterm labor. Diagnosis now, how do you diagnose? First is you have to clinically examine the patient. Examination is very important. Regular uterine contractions about four in twenty minutes or about eight in sixty minutes with the dilatation with the changes in the cervix is one of the most important factor. Cervical effacement more than 80% and dilatation more than 1% is also a diagnostic feature. Preterm labor can be advanced preterm, early preterm, and threatened preterm. So remember the three things advanced preterm, early preterm, and threatened preterm. These are the latest what you call classification we are laying states on. Now, what is advanced preterm? Advanced preterm is the regular uterine contractions above 4 in 20 minutes. Regular contractions, uterus is contracting. Cervix dilatation is more than 3 centimeters. So management, what will you do in advance? If your cervix has already pro progressed dilatation, signs of chorioaminoides has set in, definitely we have to go for an active management, where otherwise there will be severe placental insufficiency. But if cervix is less than four, less than four centimeters, their tocolytics and antibiotics are of use. The main aim is to give corticoids, corticosteroids, okay, to bring the uh, or reduce the incidence of respiratory uh, RDS. That is one of the cause. And early in early preterm, regular uterine contractions, okay, uh, of coming every 15 minutes, 10 minutes. And a cervical dilatation more than one centimeter, and an effacement of cervical effacement 80% is one of the early parameters to diagnose early preterm. How do you manage? Could you amnitis if it is there? Manage with antibiotics, 
congenital anomalies has to be noted mother and fetus condition has to be monitored along with cardiotopography and if everything goes on we can carry on the pregnancy if not we have to terminate depending on the condition but if fetal condition is not compromised maternal condition do no signs of choriamnitis membranes are intact this is one of the most important point then you give corticosteroid therapy and then you can continue with the pregnancy now threatened preterm labor this is the last condition that is here diagnosis is by clinical usg you do a cervical length if a measurement if in by usg it is above less than 1 uh, cm but above 2.5 cm and gestational age is less than 37 weeks we call it threatened peak term here management is you have to give a conservative management make the patient take bed rest manage with antibiotics tocolytics and steroids if necessary so if certain preterm is diagnosed clinically there the dose of cort uh, corticosteroids has to be taken care of dexamethasone 6 mg im 12 hourly four doses you have to give this is the mistake people give two doses dexamethasone 6 mg im 12 hourly for four doses and corticosteroids are beneficial when delivery occurs at least 48 hours after the first dose so this is a tocolytics are there we can use nifedipine beta mimetics like isoxaprine indomethacin maxalf etc are used depending on the personal choice of the doctor and the condition of the patient and the baby those of the colosis nifedipine was used but that all depends on the personal